Alright, what's up guys? So, I I wanted to check this video out. When I seen the uh, name of it, I was like, okay. There have been just like, it's just so weird how YouTube is set up where you would get random videos recommended to you. This was one of them. And I'm like, I've, I don't know. I can't even think of the last time I searched up something regarding Porch Pirates or Glitter Bums and stuff. But I'm like, yo, based off of what it sounds like and then with that, you know, like, like uh, thumbnail preview what it showed... Oh, I know this video is going to be, this is going to be gold right here. So let's go ahead and check this video out. Guys, if you haven't, make sure you go subscribe. I need to do it myself. Go subscribe to Mark uh, Rober for more videos like this. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and check this video out. This guy stole my package from a porch and he's about to open it. In and stuff like this, they, it does upsets me though. I'm like, I don't understand. That's why, that's why I was afraid with like for the longest of ordering stuff online. Cause I'm like, I have to be home when I order something always. I either go out and see if I can get it at a store. And if I can't, I just go, um, on, um, I'd make sure I'm home and stuff. But, and then of course I'll go and order something online. But anyway, house, Hello. what he doesn't know is that this is the third generation of a new and improved custom built bait package. That's recording them on four different phones and just Dope. released a pound of the world's finest glitter along with some other nasty surprises. So to understand how we got yes. here, we first have to go back in time a bit. That because is amazing. that's when this couple stole a package from my porch. And even with the video footage, the police wouldn't do anything. So I vowed to use my engineering that's skills to go full home alone on I'm these. Like, oh yeah, I'm like, okay, they they won't do anything. I'm like, cool, fine. Um, I'm like, I uh, I'll you know do this. So not just to avenge my package, but as a tribute to the two million packages that are stolen across America every year. It's and because crazy. packages are taken most in December. I just heard the, the story. Th the guy he was trying to steal somebody's uh um their Xbox. He was either their Xbox or PlayStation. But he was a uh, a driver. He was either a driver for UPS, Amazon, whichever anything. Well, Amazon they're too nice, so they won't. Like, Amazon is like the delivery version of Chick-fil-A. But anyways, yeah, so it was UPS or somebody. It might have been Amazon. I don't know. But the guy, like, set it down, took a picture, and then they, um, the, whoever it was that ordered it said that the guy picked it right back up and then was going back to his truck with it. So he was home and ran outside and then stopped him. But the guy was just like, oh, yeah, here, here you go. And things I'm like, yeah, you was out here stealing. Like, no, you need to get fired. But anyways. Third year now, it's sort of become a Christmas time tradition for me to do my very small part to encourage future would-be porch pirates to choose a different profession in yes. just the most fabulous way possible. So before we see how this year's version fares in the wild, I'm gonna first walk you through all the upgrades my buddy Sean and I have been incorporating into this box over the past year. For starters, we updated the outer casing, this time going for more of a cyber truck aesthetic. You can sort of see the evolution from year to year right here. As part of this, we created an intentional handle here in the hopes that the package thief will grab the, uh, it, video. not realizing we took a page directly from the Kevin McAllister home security plan by putting extra sticky glue on the underside. This is the exact same stuff you use in those rodent traps. And as you can see here, it's incredibly wow. strong. You'll also Dang. notice these two protruding rods. Those are the most critical improvement from last year, but more on that in a second. Under the hood, we made quite a few changes as well. The fundamentals are still the same, where you have a battery-powered Arduino-based microcontroller on a custom printed circuit board that gives instructions to these four phones, which allows us to record the thief it's no matter- up. I guess, like, maybe if they're old phones, I guess it's okay. But I'm like, dang, it's like you can't get, like, no, like, small camera. I've, I I even don't even want to give them four phones because knowing, knowing them, they'll probably, even though all of that stuff happens to them, the skunk spray, the glitter, and all of that, they still would try to go somewhere and sell those four phones. So. Which side they open it from. But this time we upgraded the brains of the box itself to have its own SIM card, too, so we can fully control all the functions of the phone at any time, including remotely triggering sounds to be played on command and you'll see why that matters in just a bit and this year that you'll see not dope. one not two but four canisters of fart spray i had the personal goal this year that Man. anyone who opened this box would at least at some point comment on just how bad it smells uh, date with that i'm using the same absolutely wretched formula that, that almost Culkin? killed macaulay culkin last year wow <laughs> i still smell it <laughs> along with just a that is dope that is really dope. two of essence of actual skunk. I'm going light on this stuff because it lingers much longer than the fart spray and anything more than a couple drops just wouldn't be cool. Ooh. 
And so but these they can't... stole from you. See, he's like, even though he's doing this, he's still being thoughtful. My thing is, it's like, until it reached to the top. Like, that's, yeah. And I'm like, no, that's, I'm like, I, I want that thing all the way to the top. I'm like, no, these people are going to know, don't do this to others. But, yeah, I'm like, that's, um... I would have, I, I wouldn't have cared. So. Cams are turned by motors, which sprays the fart spray, and we keep spraying it every 30 seconds because first of all, it's ridiculous and hilarious. But second, yes. and more importantly, so they get rid of the package out of their house before they realize there's four phones inside. <laughs> this design feature makes it so we pretty much recover our boxes 100% of the time from the closest oh. trash can or dumpster, since we already know the location of the box at all times due to the That's GPS tracking crazy. on the phones. But if the box does get destroyed by a package stealing glitter hater, all the phones will have already uploaded their footage to the cloud for me to see exactly what happened. And then that of course we've got crazy. the main attraction, which is this spinning cup powered by a motor underneath here, which this year holds 15% more of the finest biodegradable <laughs> glitter that money can buy. And so then after opening the box and just like sitting in a daze trying to process what the heck just happened, well that's when we start the countdown. 10, 9, and of course, we know nothing happens when it gets to the end. But having just been covered in glitter and fart spray, they're going to be terrified of what this would possibly escalate to next by the time the countdown ends. And then after the countdown, we have the police scanner. But this year we added LEDs, so it will light up the room in red and blue lights for added ambiance. Wow. This also allows us to illuminate the package thieves face with white light in case they open it in a darker setting. And then finally, we've got this lid, which still has these two holes with one-way film, so we can record what's going on even before it's opened. But as you can see, Kevin's older brother Buzz has also been working hard this year. He's releasing not just the fictitious Buzz Buds, but the entire Buzz collection. And it's just adorable when you hear some of these package thieves repeat that in a excitement. And this is literally the box we use, but somehow they never bother to read the side with lots of little words that would totally give the whole thing away. And so now with the little place, you can see the function of those two rods from earlier. Yeah, they just see, they just see headphones, noise cancellation technology, and they're like, oh, I, I'm, 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 get, I'm just gonna steal it. I'm gonna steal because it. Because when the lid slides off, they shoot out, which prevents the natural reaction of someone to just quickly put the lid right back on again. And this happened quite a bit last year, and it just makes it way less fun for nearly <laughs> everyone involved. And if you look at the CAD, you can see how these are designed such that once the plunger is extended out by this oh, spring, this little floating chunk of steel drops down into this groove, which stops the plunger from being pushed back in. This is just a beautiful passive solution, and the only way to reset them to get the lid back on is to either wave a magnet here, wow. which sucks that steel nice. chunk up, thereby like allowing gonna really the plunger be to go about back that. in, or to turn the whole thing upside down, which means the chunk falls out of the groove due to gravity. And for the final major design improvement, last year it was a hassle for our porch volunteers to have to bring the boxes in and charge them every night, and then remember to put them out the next day. It was also a problem if the box got stolen in the late afternoon, because the phone and the box batteries could be pretty low at that point. So this year, we made a custom doormat that discreetly plugs in and then inductively charges the box at all times, so it's always ready to go. So the idea wow. is after the bad guy that properly is... disguises himself and then comes sneaking by that and steals it off the porch, all the batteries are at 100% charge and the box knows that it's no longer on the mat, so it texts us that it's been stolen and starts recording and that uploading footage and dope. sending us GPS updates. So when they eventually get home and take off the lid, the circuit board brain knows it's go time and autonomously sets everything in motion. Hello. That is dope. Now, is it petty to dedicate an entire year of your life to completely no. over-engineering no, a box just to shoot a nope. little glitter at someone? Yes. Nope. But at the same time, could that creation still be just ridiculous and beautiful? Also, yes. I'm like, I, guys, people need to stop doing that. They need to stop stealing people's packages. It's like you hear all the time. I have to say probably the worst story I've ever heard was when they stole, I think it was this kid and he wanted to get um, a like WWE title. And um, they, yeah, there's somebody had stole it. They was just like, look, this is like, you know, this is for my son. Like I, you know, like it's them, them belts, those WWE belts, they cost a lot. I think they cost like four or $500 because I think it has like real gold and all of that stuff and it's yeah it's it takes a long time to make them so 
Yeah, I like, I, it's messed up when people, they do things like that. They're not even bothered to think, like, who knows? Like, this could be for some kid and stuff, and they're all like, oh, I don't care. I'm a porch pirate. I just want to go around and just steal a bunch of stuff, so. I don't think it's petty at all what you're doing. I think it's the greatest thing of all time. But the one thing that I, I wanted to do was uh, when they, like, I guess, like, when they pull it, there's, like, a shotgun blast that would go off. There was a guy that said that he was doing that for a while. So that's Glitterbomb 3.0. And if you think this is cool and you want to support more efforts like this, you can get this super dope hoodie of the wireframe CAD model at markrover.com. Oh, After 10 years of YouTubing, I finally got some merch along with a cool new logo. And I can assure you that the money that was clearly saved by using the second rate t-shirt model just went straight into making everything in the store super soft and comfortable and to give free returns. And so now all that was left to do was to send these boxes to porches all across America. And thanks to my friends at Simply Safe who hooked us up with a bunch of cameras we could monitor everything remotely and then just wait you would still think like if i don't know me i will never be a porch pirate i would rather work at the most hateful job possible and just earn money and just buy what i want rather than becoming a porch pirate but let's say if i were like if i were to become a porch pirate I would look around for cameras first and be like, oh, okay, you know, cameras is all around. Then I just go about my day and I don't steal, but. And we didn't have to wait long. It's crazy. Wow. Our very first box was so taken many at people. night. Hello! Keep <laughs> change, you filthy animal. And apparently, they didn't seem to appreciate the name calling or the quality engineering. Because in the morning, this is what we found. So it was one box down, but we still had six backups left. Wow. <laughs> Yo, uh-huh, nope. Can't put that box on. Uh-uh. Nope. Nope. <laughs> 15, 14, 13, 12. He really 11, trying. 10, 9, 8. And while he didn't explicitly six, mention the smell, five, four, three, the countdown two, was certainly pulling one. its own weight. And she looked like she got on the, oh, what's that on her hand? Oh, it's like slime or something. Or that might be the glue. I don't freaking know. But it's like, it looked like it, she, that stuff might sprayed on her bed. Wow. Now you got it, yo. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Activation complete. <laughs> After a nice fart spray block with her hands, this lady tries to wrestle uh. the lid on in her sink for a solid 10 minutes. And eventually exploits our one Achilles seal and turns it upside down. And she got it. Wow. I mean, I'm not even mad. That's just impressive. Hello. <laughs> you guys give up? Oh, yeah, thirsty for more. <laughs> so bright. <laughs> And at this point, I'm like, how is nobody mentioning the smell? So you can imagine how happy I was. I'm like, bro, I, dang, man, he, <laughs> all right, there's, there's some things I want to say, but I'm like, you know what? People might be like, okay, I'm being a little bit too rude and I'm trying to be more of a nicer person. So I'm just going to sit here, laugh, enjoy what I'm watching. To but... see this. Six, five, dang. four, three, two. Recovery sequence initiated. <laughs> He's laughing about it. Wow. Not amused. Hello. <laughs> you gotta give up? Oh, yeah, thirsty for more. Ew, I smell it. <laughs> this one was another W for Team Fart Spray. Yes. That is amazing. Hello. <laughs> Keep the shame, 
Ain't you filthy animal? Oh, he mad. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Frankly, frankly wash his hands. Oh, it's gonna spray again, fam. It's gonna spray again. There ain't no stopping it. Knowing me, if that if I had been in that situation, I just start stumping that box out. I'd been like, nah, I probably would have ripped the outside part trying to get it on. Ten, but, nine, yeah. eight. Seven, six, five, four, three. You know, it's funny if it's like if any of these guys, like if any of them are YouTubers, it would just be funny to just for them to sit down. That's like if I if I was like a porch pirate on the low and this happened to me and I ain't tell nobody about it. Imagine me doing a reaction video to it and then on top of it trying to play it off like, oh, that's 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 not me. That's not me. Same background, so the, the shoes, wall, the whole thing, everything, and it's just like, oh, I just played off like, oh, that, that wasn't, but imagine how amazing it would be to know that these guys seen this video. Two, one, activation complete. Can you put it in the closet? And this one was the perfect Harry and Marv wet bandit reaction because not only did his room get dusted with glitter, but he got doused with the fart spray and Dang. then freaked out with the countdown and then grabbed it by the mouse glue handle on the way to the dumpster. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> These guys had suspicions, so they took it outside to open it. Hello! <laughs> you guys yep. give up? Oh, yeah, thirsty for more. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry! That's crazy. I'm sorry, hold on. We just opened the button. I didn't know it was glitter and fart spray. I told you. Stop stealing. I'm so <laughs> he's like, have, she's having a good time about it. That guy, he's all like, he's. And because I don't want anyone to feel totally depressed about humanity after seeing only the bad apples that make it into my video, just like last year, we set up a way to showcase the good apples too. So in some cases, we left it by an apartment mailbox and left tons of contact information all over the label. And 90% of the people did the right thing and just yeah, walked just... by and didn't take something that didn't belong to them. Then an additional 7% took it, but they were really trying to do the right thing by locating where it was supposed to go and then calling the number that was listed all all over the label and they left them out by the yeah like that scene that's something that i would do i would call and be like hey yo like i don't know who you are but there's a package out here like waiting for you it's like a collection of headphones whatever it's supposed to be but i'm like bruh like you you should i'm like somebody gotta come out here and get it because i'm like you know this is there's porch pirates that's going around stealing and stuff i'm like yeah that's um that's that's just it's one of those things i think i would like i would go off on the delivery company and things i'm like they just left your package like out in the open not wrapped up in no box or nothing they just left that's crazy so but no i remember that was uh it wasn't a package it was a full-on dog i remember i um, found this dog out in the side of the road and um thinking that it belonged to this one house but they already it was a husky i go and walk this husky all the way to this house thinking where it's supposed to be at the husky that i thought was supposed to be there is already there in the backyard so i'm holding a random husky never i have not feared for like my life and the dog's life so much in my life i was like bro whose dog is this so i just played like the good like okay what would i say to my dog if i wanted to go home I swear, this is what I said. I said, all right, let's go home. The dog guided me to his house, and it was the dog's house. So I was like, bro, that is, um, I think it was the dog's house. I don't know. That would been crazy if it was somebody else's dog. But I was like, the door was open, and the lady, she, you know, she knew the dog and stuff. So, but anyways. Uh, group mailbox? Really? Yeah, I'm just like, I do not want to leave these there. In those cases, we would go retrieve the box from them and typically give them a couple hundred bucks for being so cool. It's That's only dope. that teensy remaining 3% that get to star in my video. And they almost never fit my preconceived notion of what a package thief is. Like in this case, we had placed it by this mailbox and then randomly a bunch of police showed up to arrest this guy who lived there. Then this teenage kid comes out and grabs the box, literally walking past several police officers in the process. 
Wow. Wow, that kid. I'm like, you, hey. I mean, because cops are all like, they're probably all like, oh, that probably belongs to him and things, not realizing that it's a Kevin McAllister homemade device, but that's, yeah, wow. Yeah. Open it, please. Yes. Open it. Open it. That's all I want from you. Just open it. I don't care what y'all saying. Feels good. What feels good? Stealing. Stop. Don't brag about it. Nothing. Did you know? Don't. That? Don't. Don't brag about. You're trying to teach him. What? <laughs> I'm so confused. The kid's happy that he stole. You're not doing anything about it. If it had been my kid, I'd just Jeff Hardy them right here, right there where he really stood. I'm just, I'm confused. Any one of them, buddy. Can I have the buds? We'll talk. This is wow. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> you filthy animal. <laughs> Bart spray. Bart spray. There we go. There we go. All on the couch. Ugh. Go get That's where you start panicking. You're all like, all right, 10, hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> well, it was a joke. It was a glitter bomb. So we won't get in trouble for stealing. I'm hopeful the fart spray changed his thoughts on stealing. And as we were in the process yeah. of putting all these boxes out, I kept getting spammed with all those pre-recorded scam calls. So I thought, how amazing would it be if I could send a glitter bomb to one of those guys? So I called up my buddy Jim Browning, who has a YouTube channel dedicated to reversing the remote connection on scammers' computers, in this case, getting access to their CCTV footage, then disrupting the scam by warning the victim and or their bank. And so by teaming up, we were able to physically intercept two packages that were moments away from being delivered to scammers and then swap them out for glitter bombs. Have a good holiday. Yes. That's and these dope. packages contained more than $10,000 in cash that were able to return to their first very confused, but then very grateful owners. And it's oh, yeah. such a crazy convoluted story that involves multiple continents, private investigators, the NYPD. It's a glitter bomb. It has a camera built into it. <laughs> There's a camera built into this. But the problem is, it's like we rolled over this log and all sorts of interesting stuff came crawling out. So we're still chasing down leads and basically glitter bombing our way through the whole chain of command. And don't worry, we're being cautious and we're appropriate, we're working with the authorities. At any rate, I was planning on putting all that in this video, but the whole situation has taken such a hard right and is still ongoing that I won't be ready to tell the full story for another couple months. And by the way, if you're thinking, how dumb could someone be? I would never send 15,000 thousand dollars in cash through the mail just hold your judgment till you hear that's a hey, you like look them scam uh artists constantly left and right they will like they will do and say whatever it takes to get the money that they want full story rather than just working you know they want to do things the scammy way the scammers tactics have evolved way beyond just an email from a nigerian prince so make sure you're subscribed to my channel and jim's channel if you want to hear how this whole thing pans out another new thing we tried this year was because that's I actually you know that's a good idea though like a channel like that will tell you about like scammers and stuff it's stuff like that that needs to be promoted talked about on the news talked about because i feel like a lot of internet people, I don't know, they will most likely not believe, like, if you're, like, deeply into the internet, then there's probably a good percentage that you won't really be in the scams, because I've been paying attention to scams since I was downloading cheat codes for Grant That Follows San Andreas. Like, because you have to sit down and think about it. Why, if, how am I the only one knowing that there has to be millions of people around the world looking for GTA cheat codes, why am I the one that just won $10,000? Like, that, like, that just doesn't make any sense to me. So, yeah, I just never really got deep in depth with it. But, um, yeah, it's just one of those things where I'm like, I just know by default. I'm like, okay, I don't even look like the type of person that just be randomly winning $10,000. And you don't ever really, you know, my thing is like, you don't hear about it on TV. Your friends don't talk about it. Nobody. I'm like, it's scams. And so, 
it's just like the small details and things that you gotta like pay attention to uh surrounding scams like if your friends ain't talking about it then you know it's like it's one thing like a stimulus check everybody's gonna get a stimulus check but well maybe not everybody but um it's you know but just stuff like this it's like you ain't gonna like if you see your friend talk about hey i just want ten thousand dollars downloading um or just going getting a gta cheat codes yeah they um it's it's a scam and most likely your friend's account got hacked but anyways san francisco and cars get broken into all the time up there i was curious what would happen if we put one in a car seat and the window was busted Dang. literally within an hour wow we actually had a camera placed in the car and one across the street but apparently murphy's law was in full force that day because the one in the car suddenly got corrupted and stopped recording and then i'm sure the world's nicest but unfortunately also the slowest uber patron got picked up at precisely the worst possible moment. The whole thing took like five seconds total for them to smash the window, grab the box, and just be gone. Wow. I don't know what this is. Brand new though. My buddies in the field followed them for a bit in case they were just gonna toss it out the window until we heard this. I'm following them. The PD's I'm, uh, coming, that's why we left Clan. We just... That's why I was moving quick because the PD was coming. I got a gun in the car, I don't got time to drive it around the city. At that point, we decided to stay put and just watch the GPS as they drove all yeah. around the city streets for about two hours. And look, besides my theft, I'm not gonna make any other accusations about them. I mean, maybe they're just a group of buddies who love to cruise around together for a couple hours and admire all sorts of different cars. No. There's a behind us. There's a Ford behind us. I see a Tesla in the plane. Super. Yeah, I don't know what that is. But there's another explanation entirely that also fits the GPS evidence. They're just trying to find a bathroom. It's a restroom there. It's a restroom there. Like, you're looking for a restroom, and then out of some just random reason, you just. You don't got the bathroom. Plus, you're. My thing is like you're a guy. There's the woods. Like me, my thing is like if I really gotta go to the bathroom. What was they doing before they build buildings and places and all of that stuff? It wasn't like they were out there, um, you know, they had bathrooms like porta potties in the biblical days. I'm saying the woods. <laughs> so that's just my logic. If I got if I'm out in the middle of nowhere or in the like if I'm somewhere and I gotta use the bathroom, if I can find me a good wooden area or an alley to some buildings, I know a lot of people ain't gonna be walking down it. I'm using the bathroom, so done it in Seattle, did it numerous times, everywhere, so. Like the woods, bro. Go to a park. Nowhere, brother. You better go to the squad up these baby wipes, bro. Either way, the batteries were almost dead on the box, so we decided to go with the Hail Mary option. Hey guys, it's me, the headphones box. Of uploading a custom sound to the phone to see how they would react. So we don't want any trouble, so you can go ahead and open me and you can have everything inside. We'll call it even. Now I could take that audio message and text it to the box. And then I could listen near real time as the clips were uploaded to the server. You can go ahead and open me and you can have everything inside. We'll call it even. I can bang you. They shoot it? Probably not going to go try and get that box back. And so while I'm left contemplating exactly what just happened, Whoa. I'll leave you with my favorite reaction from this year. They shot the... Wow, that is crazy. Yeah, that's, uh... That's, that's the Lord's box. Like... I don't, I, that's just not in my, that's no longer in my power to try to, um, attempt to go get that. That is crazy. Wow. Can I open it? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Keep the change, you filthy animal. They are in 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, <laughs> 6, 
Five, four, three, two, one. Activation complete. Recovery <laughs> sequence initiated. <laughs> Oh, if you look in our yes, freezer, you'll sure. see my ice cream. Well, kind of. You'll have to first open this bag of frozen vegetables I camouflage it in. But inside that bag, you'll find this cup and lid I designed. Now you might be thinking, psh, big whoop, Mark. But let me explain why the whoop is in fact very big. Because I can put my ice cream in here and the lid just barely slides on at room temperature. But then when you let it chill in the freezer for a bit and take it out, the lid is clamped onto the base with 500 pounds of force, thereby protecting it from anyone else in my house who won't realize the trick is just to run room temperature water over the lid for about 30 seconds. And the reason this works See, now is- it's like when you tell people that, then yeah, that's, you know, then they'll watch it and things. Or I feel like a lot of people would do some stuff like that. Cause I was like, if I really want to eat somebody's food, I, that's most likely, and it ain't opening, that's something that I probably would Because the do. base is made from steel and the lid is made from aluminum. And aluminum shrinks more when it gets cold and grows more when it warms up. This idea just occurred to me one day, so I made it. And that's the thing I love about being an engineer. If you have an idea about a thing and that thing doesn't exist, you can just will it into existence. So here's my big announcement. I've been secretly working for nearly a year on a month long creative engineering course that will teach you how to use engineering and science to bring your own creative ideas to life. In this class, I cover my full engineering design process from how I come up with the ideas to prototyping, to finalizing the build and giving huh. it character. I talk through everything that I'm thinking, everything that I'm doing, and I do it three times. Over the course of a month, you'll watch me design and create three totally original builds. But more importantly, I will guide you through finishing three creative builds of your own. And this is an online class, so you can take it from anywhere and work it around your schedule, but it's fully immersive and intensive. So whether you're a complete beginner or an experienced engineer, this course has been designed to meet you where you're at and then level up your skills. And the engineering process I will teach you is the exact same one I used at NASA and at Apple and for all of my videos. Just go to monthly.com slash Mark Rover or use the link in the video description to check it out and then enroll in this month long learning experience with me. That was a good video. That was a good video. I enjoyed that. <laughs> I enjoyed that a lot. Man, that guy. I, yeah. I, I'm officially a fan of him. Shout out to Mark Rober. No, I can, I can watch some more of your videos, bro. Because I'm like, that's, uh, that's, that's the entertainment that we need in this world. So, yeah, shout out to you, man. That was, honestly, that was one of the best videos I have to say I've seen of, uh, um, 2020. Like, just out here, like, put it that's you pretty much just put down like an uno reverse card most people would be mad about their package getting stolen but this brings joy and happiness i'm like yo that's dope man shout out to this guy guys if y'all haven't go subscribe to him go subscribe to him because honestly this yeah I, I i enjoyed that that was pretty good that was pretty good so anyways yeah go subscribe to him go show him love do whatever you possibly can to show support and love to this guy like subscribe to me too and i'll talk to you guys later thank you guys for watching and peace